Will Corpse do a face reveal in the charity? Look, let's not put any pressure on Corpse to ever do a face reveal. If he never, ever, ever wants to do one, he doesn't have to. I get the appeal of really wanting to see what somebody looks like behind the voice. I remember Charlie used to get a lot of it back in the day, and now Charlie's... It's weird to think about a time when Charlie wasn't uh, a presence that you knew what he looked like. But not everybody who... Everybody who doesn't show their face doesn't eventually have to. And it, it would suck if they felt the pressure that they needed to eventually because so many people were asking for it. But... If Corpse never wants to show his face, that's perfectly fine. If any of the people who don't show their faces right now want to stay anonymous and never show their faces, that's absolutely fine, and everybody should respect that. So I would just be mindful when you say stuff like that. Um, even in a joking fashion, because as the person who isn't showing their face, even joking, if you see it over and over again, it can still seem like pressure to them from that perspective. And I would hate to think that Corpse is... I mean, I, Corpse is a smart dude, and he's hes well within control of what he's doing. Um, and he sets boundaries and stands up for himself when he needs to. But I would hate to think that he's pressured to show his face. How do you maintain anonymity? Um, I mean, not show your face. <laughs> It's, it's difficult, because Corpse also has a very distinct voice. So it's hard to... Even if you don't show your face, it's hard when you walk around. Because sometimes I walk around, and people don't recognize my face immediately. But when I walk by, and I'm talking to Evelyn about something, they turn around and they say, Oh, shit! And I didn't think I had that... Uh, like, distinct a voice when I'm not in, like... YouTube mode. When I'm not, like, yelling at games, or I'm not at the same sort of, like tone and frequency that I'm at in my videos. When I talk normally, I don't really sound the same. Again, I'm just talking. I'm not, like, amped up and energetic. But people people spot me immediately uh, sometimes when I'm... when I talk going by them. Um, so, I don't know. I... for a long time I thought Oh, lots of people know who I am. That's so cool. When I go out and about, so many people recognize me, and it really validates what you're doing, and it makes you feel special, and it's like... It's... I can definitely see where some people go off the deep end and develop a huge ego, because there is that pull to it to be like, Oh, man, it's so cool that people recognize me when I'm out in the street, and... I don't, like... Oh, I thought only celebrities got recognized, and it's... It's a very tempting thing to want more of. Um... But since I've been doing it for so long, um... And the channel doesn't really, like, grow at the insane pace that it used to. And there's so many people doing YouTube now and that kind of thing. Like, I get recognized less when I go out these days. Well, also, I'm just out less, I guess. But there's a... It's kind of nice. <laughs> it's nice being able to walk around and not have to... Because it gets to this weird thing that when I'm walking by some people, you can kind of tell that some people are looking at you to be like, Is that them? And then you kind of feel like a douchebag for thinking, oh god, are they going to recognize me? Because it's like, who are you to have that sort of mentality? That sort of thought process to think that people outside would recognize you. And then the imposter syndrome kind of like kicks in real quick. And you go through all of these mental gymnastics. Um, but it, it, it's so weird when you're out and about that when some... You can tell when people know who you are and you can tell when people recognize you, even if they're trying to hide it. Because they're, like, talking and, like, looking at you. And you can just tell when people are staring at you. And it's like, I, I would much rather people would just come over and say something than, like, stay behind and, like, take sneaky pictures. And then, like, talk under their breath about you and, like, stare at you as you walk by. Because that's just kind of uncomfortable. Um, and you have people sometimes that follow you for a long time when you're walking into town or something. Who are, and I get it because social anxiety and that kind of thing, that they're afraid to come up and talk to you. Um, and I absolutely sympathize with that. But sometimes it leads to people like following you for like 10 minutes. I'm like, okay. And sometimes I just turn around and I'm like, hi. To kind of like break that. But I don't know. It's a hard thing to talk about without sounding like you're a douchebag. Um,. And then sometimes it's concerning because they follow you for so long that they don't realize that you're, like, outside your house. 
I'm like, I don't... I don't really want you to know where I live. And I, like, I'm fine with people coming up and saying hi to me and taking pictures and anything like that. Well, not so much these days, because taking pictures usually means, like, getting close and whatnot. And I'm trying to keep a, a distance for COVID regulations. Um... But it's, it's just a, a, a strange thing. But I don't get recognized as much these days walking about. And sometimes it's nice to sort of have that kind of calmness when you walk around. That you feel like you can kind of just be yourself. Because sometimes you're at restaurants and people recognize you and you're like, Oh god, how do I eat food again without looking weird? And you want to just be able to like act normal, but then you're aware that people are watching you. It's really bizarre, and it's a hard thing to talk about, because it's like, oh, poor little famous man. You know, it's hard to talk about it without making it seem like you think you're hot shit. 